one of the key reasons why the cost of living and therefore the price of manufactured commodities including imports is going up is because of the much talked about supply chain disruptions some of the commodities being hit adversely is fuel as evidenced by the rising palm price uh, i may just use an example that uh to ship from China to Uganda was around $2,000. Now it's about ten dollars to $12,000. The impact of that is that everything that we import becomes expensive. Uh, this is all the way from capital machines, capital machinery to raw materials. In terms of air transport, the crisis was that uh, we lost frequency of visiting aircraft. And it's not a crisis until you're handling fresh produce. This results from ports of origin for imports closing fully or partially and subsequently shipping liners, causing a shortage of storage containers, among other problems. The effect of that is that, if I'm to use an example of a pharmaceutical factory, they may need about 11 elements to produce the drug that you need. And if one gets stuck on the road, the factory cannot function. And if the factory cannot function, then there is no output. And if there's no output, then there's no labor, uh, both formal and informal labor. Speaking during the NTV Economic Summit recently, the Secretary to the Treasury affirmed his private sector support, but only if they can get more organized. The private sector in Uganda is also like a government, a bit disorganized. We need to organize ourselves and uh, put government to tenterhooks on how do we make things work better. I want to tell you I'm going to support reforms that work. There's no question about that. I've told my colleagues in the government, I know some of them are watching, anyone who thinks that we can do things the way we have always been doing them and they haven't worked, should not be in a special accounting position. Government is determined to fully open up the economy come January 2020, which is just days away. But the effects of the pandemic coming from the global environment may make recovery slower and life more expensive for most Ugandans. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.